Oh, hi. Thanks for checking out my video. I'm Mr. Kami, and I'm the AP Chemistry teacher here at Egan High School. I've been teaching this course since 2011. I'm here today to answer some of your questions and maybe give you a little bit more information about what it means to take AP Chemistry if you decide to register it for next year. First of all, I'd like to answer a couple of frequently asked questions. First question often is who's eligible to take AP Chemistry? AP Chemistry is a second year chemistry course, and so you have to have had regular chemistry or honors chemistry in order to take this course. Second question I often get is, is the class difficult? Well, that's a difficult question because this won't be the easiest class you take next year. But if you're willing to work hard inside and outside of class, you're willing to ask questions and participate, then I'm gonna do everything that I can to help you achieve your academic goals. For the last couple of years, I've been asking students in a survey about their experience through the first half of the school year in hopes of sharing some information with you as you, once again, think about registering for AP Chemistry. Here's what they've had to say. The first question I asked my students in the survey is how would you rate your AP Chemistry experience so far? And almost 88% of students rated as somewhat satisfied or very satisfied. The next question I asked my students is how would you rate your lab experience in AP Chemistry so far this year? And over 50% of the students surveyed said that they were somewhat satisfied or very satisfied with their lab experience so far. In this next question, I wanted to ask students opinions about how much homework they do in AP Chemistry compared to a previously taken chemistry course. 50% of students surveyed say that they do more homework in AP Chemistry compared to a previous chemistry course, but about 50% of students say they do as much or less homework in AP Chemistry as they did in a previous chemistry course. This last question asks students, how likely would you recommend someone to take AP Chemistry? And the results are unanimous. Every student surveyed said that they were somewhat likely or very likely to recommend a student to take AP Chemistry. Check out these two clear solutions. That was unexpected. Speaking of expected and unexpected, what sort of AP scores can you expect to get after taking this course? Let's check out the scores. The following spreadsheet is something that I've collected since I've been teaching this class. These AP test scores reflect the tests from 2014 all the way up to the present. The table on the top gives you an idea of who's taking the AP test. Students who choose not to take the AP Chemistry course but still decide to take the test happens every once in a while. Seven students have done this. Five have received passing scores, which are three or higher according to the College Board. Their average score was 2.57. Some students who take regular chemistry decide to take AP Chemistry. This has also been done in the past. Seven students have taken regular chemistry and then also AP Chemistry. One of those students has passed, and the average score of these students is 2.71. Most students who take AP Chemistry have taken honors, 158 of them in fact, since 2014. These students receive an average score of 3.47, and almost 83% of these students receive a three or higher on the AP test. The table down below is a collection of all students who've taken the test, no matter what their background, since 2014. 172 total students have taken the AP test. 27 of those students, or 15.7%, have received a five. 33%, or about one third of those students, receive a four. And 30% receive a three. So if you combine all of the passing scores that are threes, fours, or fives on the AP test, it is about 80% of students who take this class earn a passing score. Are you telling me this clock is powered by potatoes? It's not magic, it's chemistry. One of my favorite things about this course is that we not only learn about what happens, but why it happens, and that is what makes AP Chemistry so interesting. 
Well, if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to me by sending me an email or a Schoology message. You know where to find me. Until then, have courage, seek truth, and keep looking up. Thank you.